Yo, what's going on, YouTube? This is Radio Gaming. I'm bringing you Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 4 as always as with my content. But for this one, I'll be some, doing something very different. You can focus on the background if you want, or focus on my voice. It's up to you, because in the background, I'm just training how to style, and I'll be talking about it at the same time. Or you can do both at the same time. But I won't be focusing on the background myself. But if I say anything cool there, I'll tell you how it's done, if it's possible. So what is happening is that I'm trying to get into styling now, Naruto. So I mean, stuck in the training mode, if most of you haven't noticed, on my main account. Because on all my other accounts, Radio, where I said I'll play you guys, is that's the account where I actually play you guys. I won't actually go training mode there, unless I'm waiting for someone to play against, but I'll go training mode and wait there. Or I'll play online with that account. But this one, I'm going to be playing, um, no, I'm, I'm going to be playing in training mode, looking how to style and everything, looking for new techniques and everything. And with my battle against Lone Wolf 1314, I, um... I use the team Kakashi Minato and I want to find out more stuff with this team and there's some some nice tricks with them and right here what I'm trying to do is um a grab trick for Minato where he um basically keeps them there they can't move if they're, if they're holding block then that's it they can't move and they have to sub the grab or sub the kunai or sub Kakashi there's free them like like it's kind of it's awesome setups it depends on what they do as you saw right there right now in the video it's, it kind of just happened but the guard broke so it doesn't really count but that's kind of what I'm going at with the style there. Um, styling isn't... I'm just going to start, so I'm saying I'm a noob at styling, but I feel like I'm slowly getting there. Uh, you have to really be quick. I try to use L1. I know it's a lot easier if you use L1, but I just couldn't use L1. It was just really hard for me. I see some people using R1 as well, and I just find it really hard. So I'm going to try my best to use triangle and go quick. So I'm sure that it's possible to use triangle and style with triangle as well. I'm sure people have done it before. Well, I haven't found that many on YouTube. Usually, I see them, they change their buttons to something else, and I usually see the sister triangle and circle. I'm like, whoa, that's something crazy. Or square and square and triangle, something mad. Uh, yeah, that's what I can say for styling. Um, lot, a lot of dashes have to be needed in here. So, as you can hear in the background, okay, let's focus on the background for the for meantime. So, what you can see me doing here. Okay. Here's an awesome way to guard break someone. If you charge your Rasengan, okay, there's another example of it using the dogs. Those dogs are really good. People say that's the worst Kakashi assist because it doesn't do anything as an assist, but it is amazing. There's another trick you can do using Minato. If you swap quickly after the Kunai is thrown of his grab, they can't do nothing. They are, they, they like it's like you swap with a character and it just looks so cool. When you see Kakashi out nowhere doing a grab, you're like, whoa. So man, use a character. Oh, there's another trick over there. If you um, make them block in the air from a very high distance after you hit them in the air, they will fall down and you can carry on the combo from there. Even though look at they can block the next part of it, just carry on. If they're above your head, then you can carry on the combo. I think it's above your head. It should be above your head directly. I haven't look at the like the actual height of where the lowest part it can be, but I just know it's just above your head. Just make sure they're above your head and that would work. Uh, what else is there to say? Um, oh, this is mainly for you guys. Uh, what do you guys want me to do for my content? You want me to carry on um, doing like how I'm doing it like right now like kind of like two um, every two that I do upload or sometimes every day I do upload like this just random uploads you like it when I do it like that or do you want me to be more more precise with uploads like let's say like um, five uploads a week or something or maybe every single day but if I do it every single day then that will be kind of a short it'll be a lot shorter so it'll be like under like maybe six minutes seven minute videos no no less no more than um, eight because um, doing them bring a lot of memory on my computer I don't want to delete any of the videos I like watching them over and over again even if they're on YouTube I still have the ones before about whatever things so like well the, the voices on top of the commentary I like it like that um what else is there so what do you guys what do you guys want me to do this so give me um tell me in the comment section below if you want me to do like let's say five days a week uh like or every day or something else maybe like three times a week I don't know what you guys like, because um, I ain't always need to find you what to do next for tutorial, because usually I'm doing tutorials. But if you guys want me to do um, more tutorials, then I'll happily do that. I'll be looking at character guides soon. The reason why I haven't done it yet, even though I said I would, is because we, there's been already a lot of character guides before I even mentioned it. And uh, when I said a lot, there's a crazy amount. So it's, it's like, um, and they've already done like a few stuff already. Oh, here's another cool trick you do here. If you ninja, if you move to the side quickly, you can always definitely keep juggling there like it's Tekken or something. But that's that's what we have to do. But there's a lot of tracker wasted there, so it's not necessary unless you want to on the style. Okay. Um. So what do you guys want me to do? Do you want me to do like loads of more tutorials, or just some rank battles of me playing a rank with commentary, live commentary, or just me doing a mashup of montages of 
that I was thinking, or maybe order them together, but all on different days. Like, let's say on Tuesday, it would be like the montage day. Wednesday would be like a, I don't know, a tutorial day. Thursday, a rank battle day with, or f and Friday maybe a um, subscriber battle day, or when I play anyone and I put on them. And maybe Sunday I do it. Uh, maybe Sunday I do a thing. Um, I do a what? I do a what? Uh, I don't know. I do anything really. I just play anyone, I guess. Uh, but yeah, that's for that. So now let's go back onto styling. Cause so then I start. Um, one thing for sure you have to keep knowing how to do is keep ninja move after every single combo. Don't jump ninja move so that way you can tag in and out. If you don't ninja move, then that would happen if you do a normal jump. And there's another example of the dogs stunning his enemy there. Look at that. They can't do nothing unless another awesome trick over there. That's really. I really. <laughs> that is so cool. I did it yesterday with my friends, but I didn't record any of that because they were at my house. But it's really cool tricks here going on. So what else is there uh, about styling? Uh, I'm fairly new as I said, so I don't know much about it. But if you want to know more about styling, go to um, Safe Haven for Stylers channel. I put it in the description below. You subscribe. You should subscribe to them because they're a really good channel. They do really good content there. They show awesome combos and also crazy, crazy stuff with characters that you never thought you can do combos. Or even a sound four. I've seen, seen them doing random crazy combos with them. Um, yeah. And also, going back to my channel, do you guys want me to do any other games as well? I got Street Fighter 5 I'm, and Dark Souls 3. I've already got Platinum, Platinum 2, Dark Souls 3 or Street Fighter, that's going to take a very long time. But, uh, I've been playing Narrow most of the time now. I got some more of um, solid, but that kind of died out now off my channel, I think. So now it's all Narrow based. Um, what else is there to do? <laughs> I don't know, um, let me know what suggestions would you like to see in the video, guys. Tell me down in the section below, the comment section. And I'll try my best to do something about it. I do like listening to you guys. I do like adding you guys. I do want to be friendly with you guys. I don't want to be one of them YouTubers that just or like um, read a comment and uh, let's say someone asks a question like how do you do this and I read a comment and I don't reply to them. I want to reply to them. I want to be helpful to everyone to make sure that everyone gets good at this game as well. So let's say you have some noobs. I'm not saying you're bad at the game. Let's say you have some people that just start the game and they don't know what to do so they pick like the cheapest supports. I don't want people to do like straight cheap supports thinking oh yeah this is like this is not a cheap team if you're using a cheap team you have to know you're using a cheap team like I'm sorry, I'm sorry. like for example using um, Pain as a support only and not switching out the Pain this makes him I don't know maybe that's just me but it makes him really cheap in my opinion or using Gara or Gara is that just a mash from far away so you can't dash at them and having a dash cut with you so that way they always win the battle but that is that and uh huh that's all i can say this video is going to be quite long i think this video is 10 minutes or 11 minutes it's around around there this video i'm not quite sure what that would be but you can see in the background this you have fun watching what i'm doing in the background this is how i train that's another cool technique there if you quit the old and change right before you press circle you can bait them out into blocks. If you do it right close to them, I learned this from Lone Wolf. He did it on me and it, he got me just really badly and disgustingly. He did it all man, and I held block and he grabbed me because the change came so quick. And I didn't know what to do. I was confused. I was scared because I thought Omen was still coming out of me. So I was like, wait, what? So it was crazy. I wish that connected. I really wish that connected. Put them back on the Maybe it does connect when you put them back on the ground. Oh yeah, another cool trick you just saw me do there is if you... um. Wow, that's, that's crazy. If you attack them, ninja me back and throw shuriken and tag, oh my god, you can make so much pressure with that. I think I'm um, later on. I think I'm putting. I put. I put another clip showing exactly how I do something else more crazy. I'll just show you when I sh when it's up on the screen. Uh, there's another cool trick. Look, there you go. The shurikens or the kunai's really cool trick okay here's another trick I'd like to show you guys it's coming up soon let's get this combo with look at this I really love doing that I don't know why but I just mess up the rest of it I, I want to know what I can do after this so I'm carrying looking at some more styling videos and see what I can make out of that or make out of some of those okay now here's the second clip coming up okay basically what this is is um you can apply so much pressure by um, making your main character attack or Jump or dash at them. I don't have to do a ninja dash one, but like that. There you go. So you want to do for that one is you want to attack three times, at least three times. You can do less than that and double jump. But type right when you double jumps. So circle, 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 double jump. Not double jump. Um, ninja dash in the air. Or oh, that's another cool trick. If you um, you can do this as well. So let's say ninja dash in the air. 
but make sure they're tagged out right before the ninja dash happens so make sure the combo is still happening and the ninja dash should be like kind of prolonged out so let's say you do circle circle triangle circle and you let go all of that will happen and for the other part it's the same with grabs so if you're using Minato you can do it with awesome grab as well so let's say you do circle 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 grab change the grab will come out just a bit later but you'll press them and you'll put them in a little bit of a stun mode there which is so cool you can do anything you want after that but that is all I have for this video uh what else have I got to you guys um yeah, I think that's all guys, I think that's all. But thanks for watching, this is Through the Gaming, and I'm out of here bringing you more content from Naruto Ultimate Storm 4. I'm out guys, peace.